By the way, welcome back to another episode. Today it is Justin and I, and we actually came out two weeks ago, that's a bite, two weeks ago and caught 17 pike, but I accidentally deleted the footage. We started at 337 fish, the 17 pike will put us at 320 fish left. Out of the 500 fish goal, that was a legit bite, dude. He didn't take it though. Yeah, that was a bite. I'm actually throwing a BPS crack craw. Don't backlash. Not right now. Why? What's up? Uh oh. I got him. You're good. First fish of the day. Done. First, but dude, that bass is so warm. It's probably what, not even a pound or maybe just a pound, but first fish of the day. I gotta tighten up my drag a little bit. I forgot I loosened it. You wanna get a measurement? Yeah. There you go. 14 inches? Yeah. Okay, that's a start, warm fish. Throwing the Bass Pro Shops crack craw orange. And do you wanna know why I'm throwing that? Because usually when I throw a bait that has the flanges like a rage craw or a bandito bug, that action, that sometimes that's a little less natural and I feel like that's not naturally what a crayfish will do out here. And plus I feel like this natural approach will catch more bass. Dude, he ran with that. Oh no, dude, he, he took off with it and I had no choice but to set the hook. Oh yeah. Look at this. Fought hard. Cool. Twenty seven inch. Dude, he fought hard. He's fat too. Dude, that fish is so warm. Dude, he fought so hard. Yeah. He fought. Is that in the swim area? It, no, it was right here. It was right outside the buoy. By the way, you guys, we have one bass and one pike for the count, which puts us at 318 fish. And what happened, but somebody got home and accidentally deleted the footage off the SD card when I was changing batteries, so. You got one bass and a pike. Dude, if I have 40 hit right now, I would. Oh boy. Good pike. Just kidding. Oh, it's not too bad. Skinny. But... That's not too bad. You got a double. 25 and a half. 
20 okay so you got a one pound bass a 27 a 25 and a half hold on a second No, that was up close. Oh, the way he hit was cool. Another thing that I've been forgetting to do is go over the reel that I spooled up with 16 pound test. It's actually the first ever Shimano Metanium that I got years ago. It's the 6.2 the six gear with uh, 26 inches per turn. A lot of people ask me, what happened to the high-end reels I have? Nothing. I still have all of them. They all work. It's just sometimes I switch to mid-grade equipment or lower end. Dude, the way they're fighting is cool. Got one? Got one? Sure. Okay. Angry. He didn't like that net. There he is. There's one. What, probably a 23 inch? You said 25 and a half? I thought I just had one. You got one? I thought I just had a bite. Hold on. Big pike though. Oh, hold on. Disappointing. Oh no, little pike. Oh, Boom. I thought that was him. You are the most disappointed pike I've ever had. At least I thought it was. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's tiny. Dude, he's tiny, he's still trying to fight. There. Inhaled. That was a good net. That was perfect timing. Warm, dude. They are warm. Okay. Is that a good one? No. Sure. He's mad. That's okay. He's mad though. I'll tell you that. How many is that now? Eight. So 312 fish left. Said 27? Yep. 
Oh, he's okay. Okay. Oh, I did. Keep going. You got him. He's on. What is it? Oh, now it's off. Nope. Oh, I'm so dumb. That's why I waited. That's why I waited, because they're fighting so hard. It's crazy. 